So the whole idea of building a website is to let people know what your products and services are all about. Hi, my name is CM Manjunath. In this video, you're going to learn how to create your services pages, which convey your values, your unique selling proposition effectively. So let's dive in. In order to go to the services page, I'm going to click on this little link in the navigation. And here we are, the services section. Let's click on edit with Elementor. I'm going to change the background image here by clicking on this section, go into style. Look at that image. Let's go ahead and replace this image. Then I'm going to look at the services right here. I could click on the pencil icon, edit heading. And here I'm going to go into the style tab. Remember we created a global font style. So under typography, click on this little globe icon, click that, and then you'll notice there is one called heading. Select that and boom, that's changed. Okay, that's our services right there. The next is, I'm gonna look at these sections. They're one, two, three, like we did earlier. I'm going to increase this to six different parts. There are six different services that are being offered. So let's see how to do that. So first things first, I'm going to change the image right here. The way to do it is click on the pencil icon. We have the image section right here. Click, great. And here I'm going to change the text. And I have some content. Boom, there we go. For the pricing, I don't want to have the pricing. I could right click here on that and click delete. As simple as that. I could increase the font size here. Go into style, that is good, 20 seems to be okay. I'll click on update. The button, I'm going to have this button, instead of saying start a project, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna change that call to action right there. Get free class. So that's a call to action. I'm trying to nudge people into taking action. When they click on that, I would get their name, phone number and email address. I'm gonna use the same approach and I will create six different sections just like that. So for this, what I'm gonna do is right click on here and click duplicate. The moment I do duplicate, we have another one right here. And then of course, you know the drill. I'm gonna change the image. All right, here we are. We are done with all the six sections. So have weight loss, weight gain, strength training, cardio workouts, personal training, as well as nutrition counseling, which is wonderful. We are on the right track. I want to add a section. And in this section, I want to have sliding images of before and after. Go into general section and pick image carousal. Just drag it and drop it right there. Now, instead of having this as a thumbnail, I wanna go medium size. Let's see how big it is. It's okay. Let's see large. Okay, looks a lot better to me. And in the slides to show, I'm gonna choose one slide at a time. There we go, very cool indeed. Click update and we are done with the before and after section. Next, I'm gonna go with the why love nature. So I'm gonna change this to why am I cross fit? That's it. There we have it, right? Looks beautiful to me. And am I cross fit whatever we do, all that is nice. Now, another thing I want to bring your attention to is this part right here. So there's like a little icon of a certificate, an icon of a star, an icon of reload or refresh icon and so on and so forth. So we could change all of that and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Let's go with the first one. Click on the pencil icon, the edit icon. This is called an icon box. An icon box usually consists of an icon and a little bit of title. You could also add something called description underneath that. So on the left side, if you notice, here it is the icon, then there is the title and description. If you leave the description empty, it'll only have this top part, the icon with the title text. Okay, so what do we do with this now? I have a few things to change it to. First one, I'm gonna change this one to personal training. Personal training. And for this, I want to add an icon which is going to represent personal stuff, right? That, like, like shaking hands or something. So let me see if I can do that. There we go. I could have like 
shake hand boom there we go it's all right so that's how you do the icon box I, I've updated it so our web page looks great now what I also want to do is add another section where I'm, I'm gonna have a contact form and remember there's a call to action called get free class when somebody clicks on that they'd want to go to this section and on this section will be a contact form so on the home page we have this beautiful contact form section right here let us know your goals that's what we called it I'm gonna make this a template so that I could reuse this section anywhere that I like even on other pages so that's the beauty of Elementor again you have this section icon right here let's right click on there and you'll notice that there is one menu option that says save as template so click that and you can give this template a name this section lead form and save it head over to the page where you want to have that section so what I did was move the why my am I crossfit up there and the image below this the reason for that is I wanted this white section and the green sections to be the alternate ones just click on this little folder icon click there and go to my templates and now if you notice the lead form as a template is indeed available for us all you need to do is just click on that insert and apply there we have it now what I want to do is I want to link all these buttons right here each one of these calls to action buttons to take us to that lead form and if you remember the link you remember we gave this one a name the section a name you can go into advanced and in there the CSS ID it says lead form section right so that already because I made that as a template it's now available for us so all I need to do is head into each one of these buttons like so edit that button and in here you're going to give a link I'm gonna just type lead form section like so all right I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest of the buttons all right I like that looks like it's all done let's see how it works weight loss I'm gonna click and boom we are taken to the the form section that's exactly what I wanted we'll do another one and boom all right now that our services page looks good what I want to do is take a look at the mobile responsiveness of this web page so we're gonna head into the mobile responsive mode like so and look at the tablet mode looks good that's okay so I love it I have no problem with the tablet mode let's take a look at the mobile device mode our services maybe I can reduce this font size a little bit that looks good all right I'll just update it the rest of it is all right so now you know how to do the home page and about page as well as the services page in the next video I'm going to show you how to create your contact us page with that we'll be done with this website all right I hope this was useful my name is CM Manjana please subscribe to the channel and give a like to this video if you liked it I'll see you next time